Stefan Nordren was born in Colette Suzanne d'Acqueville on 8 November 1932 and died on 27 March 2018. She was a French film and television actress, known for her performances in award-winning movies such as The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie 1972 and Babette's Feast 1987 and in critically acclaimed films like The Big Red One 1980 and Violet Notesier 1978. She married French director and screenwriter Claude Chabrol in 1964, after a short marriage to the French actor Jean-Louis Trentignant. Her son by her marriage to Chabrol which ended in 1980 is the French actor Thomas Chabrol born in 1963. Her first major role was in Chabrol's film Les Cousins 1959. She later appeared in most of Chabrol's films. Some of the more noteworthy of his films Audrin appeared in were Les Bons Femmes 1960, La Femme Infidèle 1968. Les Biches 1968 is a wealthy bisexual who becomes involved in a ménage à trois. She first gained notice in this. Le Boucher 1970 is a school teacher in rural France. Just have on la nuit 1971 and Violet Notesier 1978. She won the Silver Bear for Best Actress for her role in Leibishes at the 18th Berlin International Film Festival. She also appeared in the first film of Eric Cromer's Sign du Lion, and in films by Jean Delannoy, Gabriel Axel Babette's Feast, as the mysterious cook, Babette, Bertrand Tavernier Coup de Torchin as the wife of the cop-turned-serial killer and Samuel Fuller the Big Red One. The most celebrated of her non-chabral roles was as Alice Cynical in Louise Buñuel's Oscar-winning film Le Charme Discret de la Bourgeoisie 1972. Also appearing in English-language productions, Audrin appeared in American features including The Black Bird 1975, and in TV serials including Brideshead Revisited 1981, Mistral's Daughter 1984 and The Sun Also Rises 1984. She starred in the 1974 film version of Agatha Christie's Mystery, and then there were none. Audrin won a French Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Violet Note Sierra 1978, and a British Film Academy Award for her part in Just Before Nightfall 1975. Her son Thomas told the AFP news agency that his mother had died early on 27 March 2018, following a long illness, saying, she had been in hospital for 10 days and she had returned home. She died peacefully at around 2 a.m. She died at 85 years old.